G'day, I'm Brendan Stemp and uh, welcome to my workshop in Mackenzie Creek. And we've got Peter Byrne here from Solid Solutions to help us out. Good to we see you, Brendan. Now, really the purpose of this video is to talk about epoxy resin in its use with timber. Because there's a, there's a huge area of manufacturing that uses epoxy resin, but we're concerned at the moment with this video with the use of it in timber. Now, as you can see that I've predominantly used it with wood turning. Mm. Um, it can be used with other woodworking activities, which we will get to at a later date at a, in another video, perhaps. But um, I just wanted to show you some of the things that we are doing with the epoxy resin. Um, here I've got a, a platter and I've got an insert or a rim using the epoxy resin with gum nuts. So my initial interest in using epoxy resin came from my desire or my wish, my want to use gum nuts in some way. Now when you get gum nuts like this here, you start to wonder how could I use them and epoxy resin was the answer to it all. So I've set the, the gum nuts in that rim with epoxy resin and then when that whole mixture was dry, I was then able to put it back onto the lathe and turn it. Now that enable me to cut through the gum nuts themselves and expose the cross sections or the colours and the patterns mm. and textures in the gum nuts. So it mm. highlights the internal of the gum nuts rather than just the external. Now here's um, something that a lot of people have already done in the past and that is um, just using things like brass shavings oh, yeah. for instance. Mm. I'm sure you've seen this done mm. plenty of mm. times before. Oh. Um, here's a, um, a, a use of just the debris on the on the ground, the, the sticks and leaves that you find around the bottom of a tree. You, you've really cut through and discovered something that we didn't see before. You know, this is what's so fresh and really Well, I think about. I think what I'm doing is that's a little bit different to what a lot of mm. people have been doing in the past. Is actually reworking the resin, not just um, pouring a, a rim of resin and then that's it. Right. I, I, yeah. I'm now actually cutting through the materials mm. and that helps to expose the inside of these sticks for instance and mm. suddenly that just brightens the whole thing up and mm. makes it a little bit more interesting. Oh, that's good. I like these bowls here uh, and Peter um, you have commented on them before because what I'm using effectively is just scrap timber. This was uh, going to be burnt this stuff. This it was just scrap timber. It had no other use. I think we call it recycling. Recycling, it that's right. <laughs> And I've been able to cast all of those scrap pieces of timber in epoxy resin and then put it onto the lathe and turn it. I've just got one other piece I wanted to, to perhaps show, or kept perhaps a couple. Um, this one was an old strainer post, an old fence post, absolutely rotten Gee, out yeah. inside. Fantastic. And I've used uh, an epoxy resin, a slightly different yes. one. This has uh, got an amber colour too, and we might talk uh, about that later. Oh yes, yes, one of the, our dyes has gone into that to give it that colour. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And mm. suddenly, I, I call it using the unusable. Suddenly there's a lot of material out there, there's a lot of timber out there that perhaps got these big cracks in it that mm. you otherwise couldn't use. Epoxy resin makes it usable. And here's another one. Wood turners are notorious for producing an awful lot of wood shavings. And here's a good use for those wood shavings. Remember how we used to just chuck them onto the, into the garbage bin or perhaps onto the, uh, the garden beds? Well, here's a good use for, uh, for wood shavings. It's brilliant. Recycling, yeah. isn't that right? Yeah. yeah. Now, I wanted to talk further mm. about um, actually mixing it because there are issues with mixing and getting a, what we call oh, a, yeah, a, a that's bubble the foundation free. Uh, thing, getting it, a yeah. bubble free. Mm. So we might yeah. just pause for a bit and get, we'll get this table set up and ready to mix some epoxy resin. Mm. 